The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Wheat School. Today we are near Guelph, Ontario, and I'm catching up with Marika Vanderland from Syngenta. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Bern. Great to be back in the field with you. Yes. It's been yeah, a while. It has it's been, been a, a while. It's been a while. Hey, I want to talk plant growth regulators today, and yep. you know, timing is very important this time yes, of year. Yes, it is. Yep. But, but before we get there, um, there's a couple of PGRs, as we call them, mm. on the market. Obviously, yeah. Modus from yep. Syngenta. Talk about where they fit, where, where yeah. growers use them, and you know, how they benefit. Yeah, call. for sure. Yeah, so plant growth regulators are all about preventing lodging or helping to reduce that risk. We had a big year last year, as we all know, with lodging here in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And we saw tremendous benefit from using the PGRs. So that was that was really nice. I mean, our data showed almost five bushels. Um, whether we had lodging or not, you know, there's sometimes some other benefits to uh, PGRs just, you know, uh, aside from just that lodging benefit. But, you know, PGRs help us to manage our wheat intensively. So, you know, there's an opportunity to maybe apply a little bit more fertilizer, which I know prices this year, you know, a little maybe dicey conversation there. But, you know, in general, it allows us to up that management or perhaps you've had um, you know cover crops in rotation or you know leftover residual nitrogen you know you're going to have that nitrogen in season uh, maybe a little concerned about lodging that's where there's a good fit for PGRs. What is the optimum timing yes. for applying a PGR? Yes so optimal timing is in that growth stage 30 to 32 mm -hmm. And growth stage 30, basically what's happening is we're moving from the tillering phase, which is indicated by a growth stage, you know, 20 up to 29. So a growth stage 25 would be a plant with five tillers. Mm -hmm. So now we're, we're done tillering, we're moving into the stem elongation phase. So that's growth stage 30. And that's why PGRs fit in this timing because the plant is starting to put energy into growth and we want to suppress that slightly mm. and build a stronger base. So grace, growth stage 30, you uh, can cut open the, the plant, you cut down the stem, and you can see where that developing head is. Pretty cool in a mm. wheat plant, you can see that head forming already. And you want it to be one centimeter of the, above the base. Mm. Then you know that it's starting to move up. That signifies growth stage 30. And then growth stage 31, 32, that indicates nodes. So growth stage 31, you have one node that you can detect growth stage 32, two nodes. Right. So now where are we in this field? You've, uh, you've been digging around? Yeah, so in this field, digging around, we found that it's just about approaching growth stage 30. So we're uh, April 29 today. This was planted on September 20. Mm -hmm. So definitely got in that earlier window, um, but we're just approaching growth stage 30. So mm -hmm. we need a little bit more heat yet, I would say, to get us into that full where the field is at growth stage yeah. 30 and ready for that PGR. When you get to 30 and 32, we talk about the growing degree days yes. involved there. How, how many growing degree days in that window and how long could it last? Yeah, great question. So this is a little bit up for debate. We don't have great data for here in Ontario um, in general, how many growing degree days you need for winter wheat to get from one stage to the next. But it's about, you know, in that 90 to 120 growing mm -hmm. degree degree days. So let's say it's about 100 um, just this with this plant, uh, this, this field planted earlier on that September 20 date. Um, so if I look at the forecast here in Guelph, the Guelph area for the next five days, we're expecting about 50 to 60 growing degree days. And, and that would be, you know, I, I looked up uh, Chatham Kent area as well. That it's going to be about the same, maybe mm -hmm. closer to that 60 growing degree days. So, um, you know, we're going to be a good 10 days likely if this weather holds before we reach that next stage of growth stage 31. Right. So, you know, it's probably, I'm going to say two weeks, a good two week window. You know, we could see temperatures going up, you know, after that, we hope. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be a good two week window okay. for that to get that job done. But, you know, if we don't get that job done, there's still some time after. So Marika, let's talk about that window, how large yeah. it is. Um, how late can we apply? How, what great growth stage can we go to? Yeah, that's a really great question. So last year, we weren't as warm as we are here now. Hard to believe it, mm. but we had snow just a couple of days ago. But last year, we can remember a lot of those late frosts. And it was just, it was hard to find that window to get the job done, especially in this area and, and going north of Guelph. 
Um, a lot of the PGRs went on after the optimal window of growth stage 30 to 32. And in previous work Syngenta's done, we did see value in that later application, but you know, to have as many growers that did it and just to see the value, is, it was great to see there is value if you apply outside the optimal window, mm -hmm. especially in a year like last year where we had a lot of lodging. So I'm very comfortable with up, up to that growth stage 37. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, you know, getting that stem strong kind of before that point, we'll still see, see good value, so. Mm -hmm. Final question for you, and yeah. that is, hey, it's a busy spring. Yes. We've got a lot of things to do. We've got weed control, fungicides, yes. PGRs. A lot of talk about, you know, can we put them together in one operation or do we divide up the operations? What do you tell yeah. people? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a great question and um, lots of maybe different opinions mm -hmm. on that topic. You know, I think it's, um, it all depends on the weather, first and foremost. If we have good weather, you know, plus five at night, you know, beautiful day like today, you know, 13, 14 um, during the day and the wheat's actively growing, then it can handle more, right? It's not stressed from the weather. So we can apply, you know, a three-way tank mix, minimum 20 gallons an acre. That water volume is really important. And we, we can get that job done putting the three together, the fungicide, herbicide, PGR. Ideally, though, from a timing perspective, we need to get, if we have winter annuals in our field, chickweed, dandelion, etc., we're hopefully getting that job done earlier. Fall weed control, if that's a possibility, that's yep. even better. Um, and then focus on getting that PGR and your fungicide on at the right time, getting the herbicide done a little bit earlier, and then, uh, you know, targeting that growth stage 30 to 32 for the PGR and fungicide awesome. mix yeah awesome hey um some great insights on yeah. the wheat school great to have you on the wheat school thank uh, you we'll see you a little later in the season yeah sounds good great.